Well, what we have created is a makerspace, and makerspace is kind of the coming thing. They're popping up in media centers for the general public, and what they basically are, um, they incorporate most of them STEM activities, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. I've turned ours into a STEAM, which just adds arts in there. Um, there are places where people can go and make things to take with them or just come and do activities that uh, incorporate those skills, engineering, math, you know, science, technology. So it's just really a good incentive for our kids and um, kind of gives my hands-on experience with, with STEM and STEAM activities. I started out with two pages of activities I wanted to do and I thought I gotta cut this down. So we have a button making station and students can use a computer or a blank template to design their own button, like a pen you would wear. And there's a machine they use for that. We also have cup stacking. We have like a architectural thing using toothpicks and we use styrofoam peanuts because of ants. So we don't use the marshmallows that a lot of people use. We have language arts with word. We have several different things you can do with that. We have little blocks with letters. Kids can create their own words or do a word search and then have to make the words from that. We have a maze making station. They can de design their own maze or use one of our uh, templates and then they use straws and tape to put it together and then maneuver a marble through it. We have simple machines using Lego activities with that. We just, there's a lot more we want to add to it. It's just, this is what we're starting with. It's a brand new thing at Sunny Carter and the kids are really enjoying it. Science, math, technology, engineering can be fun. You know, it's not just words on a page, it's actual things. When you learn about cup stacking or chain reactions is another station, you're learning engineering skills. You know, um, what makes a chain reaction? How does that happen? What do you need to do to build a, a sound structure? Engineering skills. So, you know, it's a hands-on thing and they're really not thinking that they're learning, but they are. Well, the feedback is when the timer goes off, is it time to leave already? So um, I think they really enjoy it. You know, it gives them something different to do. We have a bead and bracelet making station that the boys and the girls love. You know, I don't want to do gender things here. So everybody's encouraged to do all of the activities. Girls can do science, girls can do math, boys can do arts. You know, so it's, it's a thing that I think that they're really enjoying and they love working together. A lot of times they'll work together on one of the activities. <laughs>